welcome back to the channel and welcome back to our Mass Effect 1 very first time playthrough. Last time we left off, we were doing shit in Ovaria. We're still doing shit in Ovaria. I left off on a cliffhanger and then haven't played in like two weeks. So we're gonna spool the brain cells back up with my fat coffee and get back into business. I'm ready to continue the lore. So we're looking for Matriarch Benezia over here. We caught wind that she is on the other side of this area. Um, and we just got off the tram. So we're gonna make our way downtown. Walking fast, these is past and I'm homebound. Hi, Gla. Welcome in, Glag. Um... Two weeks, time to start Mass Effect 1 all over again. Literally, that is my brain right now, but... I don't need to get back on the train. We just got off of it. Okay, that was emergency exit. Is there another... Left? Okay. Um, and young man, welcome in. Hey, Wolf, thank you for the 21 months. How are you liking Mass Effect? I like it a lot. I just needed to take a little break so um, I could re-spool my brain. But honestly, like, it's been a lot to get into. I guess we can discuss my thoughts on the game before we continue, or before we really kick off this episode. Um, thus far, I'm really digging the environment and world setting. Okay, I will start off by saying that. So, the last games that I played were The Witcher, The Last of Us, most recently The Last of Us, and then I'm congruently, concurrently playing Red Dead Redemption. So, playing this is a stark contrast, I would say, from all of the other games I've been playing for, like, the last year, and really ever, because I don't think I've ever really played a game like this. Um, I've played decision-making games, but those are telltale games where they're still pretty linear. You just have to make decisions along the way, whereas this guy, it's a little bit, like, open-worldy style. I don't know. I don't know how to describe this game. I can't put my finger on it, but I don't think I've ever played a game like it. And so, starting off... It's, it's been a lot to try to... I mean, it, it's not complicated, okay? And I swear I'm not stupid. It's just been a lot for me personally to process as a newer gamer, like going from those games to this game. It almost feels, I don't want to say like The Witcher, but like with the level of immersion I have to go through, especially because it's sci-fi, so like understanding what the Mass Effect is and the Mass, the mass Effect and how like that pl like, plays into powers, what all the different classes, like um, races are and their, um, and their relationships with one another. And then all of the locations and like the plot of why we're doing what we're doing. Obviously that's the way it is with any new series that you jump into, any game, any book, any whatever. But it's just, it just feels like a lot. And it's awesome. I'm not saying this in a negative connotation, okay? It's been awesome it's just been a lot <laughs> and it's been um I, I don't know if it's it doesn't feel slow necessarily it's just it's not slow because we're moving at a good pace it's just very um dense Maybe dense is the word. It, there's just a lot of lore to unpack. So, like, honestly, sitting down with the Codex, that one episode was really good. Um, I'll probably go through and catch back up on the rest of it. Um, maybe at some point today or something. But, like, it's just been a lot <laughs> for the first game. So. Yeah. After so much. And I know, yeah, it's just it's just setting the baseline. Like, anytime you're going through math class or whatever, learning algebra and geometry for the first time, it's like setting your brain to how that works. But once you understand it and make sense for the follow-on classes, that's kind of how I feel right now with this game. Codex and Chill Part 2, exactly. Just understanding the way all of the things work. Just my first time playing any sci-fi game really besides cyberpunk but that was entirely different so anyways that's my two cents in three minutes or less 
on how I feel about the game so far. But things are getting spicy. We're in Novaria. We're actually getting after the matriarch now. I feel like now that we have that baseline foundation, um, things are gonna start snowballing a little bit from here. I just I just have a I have a feeling because we're actually getting after like the main we're we're picking up from the main mission of the original thing. The original thing with the my visions and shit. You guys know what I'm talking about. We're picking up with the word the story started, finally. It also doesn't help that I just kept doing a bunch of side missions, which were like incrementally building on the lore and like finding all the relics and things like that. But for me personally, with my squirrel, squirrel brain, with my goldfish brain, um, doing too many side quests can also be hin be a hindrance to me because then I get so detracted from like the main quest <laughs> and the main story of what's going on. Um, so I have to kind of cage and like have a nice balance between the two because if I just do way too many side quests then I'm like, what the fuck were we doing in the main story? I don't know. This is just me, me with story games so you guys can get a better understanding of like how I work. How do I heal you people? I forgot all the controls. Ape. Good to go. Okay. Hi, Micah. Welcome in. The side missions are amazing, but... For my squirrel brain purposes, I must remain also focused on the main story. <gasps> Hi, Rocket! How are you? Good to see you. Oh. Stand down. Hello! Sorry, we couldn't be sure what was on the tram. <laughs> no autopsy, no foul. I'd only be upset if they'd fired. Even hopped up on stems, my people know the rule. Two legs good, four legs bad. Look, you're human and that's enough that I won't shoot. But I'd like to know who you are. <laughs> that sounds like these guys are marines or army. Two legs good, four legs bad. Bad. Uh, I'm a specter. Dude, I tell everyone who I am. <laughs> Is that in the best interest of... Mm, masking my identity? But this guy's a human, so he's a lion, right? Yeah, fuck it. My name's Shepard. I'm a specter. Huh. I won't look a heavily armed horse in the mouth. <sighs> the aliens overran the hot labs last week. Only Han Olar got out, and he ain't all there anymore. Ooh. The first we knew, the bastards were clawing into my command post. We had a lot more staff then. What are they? We've never seen anything like them. What do you know? I'm no xenobiologist. They're fast, vicious, and there's a hell of a lot of them. The board sent an Asari to clean up the mess. She went to the hot labs yesterday. We haven't heard from her since. I need to talk to her. Benezia. Is she still over there? I don't know. I don't see what one person could do. A matriarch has the skill to keep herself alive for a long time. Liara! There's an emergency elevator out by the trams. This card will let you activate it. It can take you down to the hot labs. Oh, if you need any first aid, Dr. Cohen's downstairs in the med bay. Hmm, okay, okay, okay. Tell me about Yeah, what is this for? I can't talk about everything. What do you need to know? What do they do here? What kind of research is done here? Beats me. I'm not supposed to know. So long as people don't start dying, it's not my problem. <laughs> okay, fair. Tell me about the defenses here. Secure enough that you shouldn't poke in corners. Hmm. This place is vulnerable. I'm going with that one because obviously all your dudes got freaking overrun by bugs. Yeah, you survived somehow. Hell no, this place is vulnerable. Y'all suck. I just wanted to offer some deployment advice. You're lucky these things are dumb animals. Three coordinated guys could take this place. Damn. Have you checked the layout yet? Easily defensible by a few people. That's not counting the automated defenses. I doubt that's enough. Automated defenses can be overridden. What impresses me most is the turrets, alarms, and cameras. They're all routed through a central location out by the quarantine labs. One guy can lock down the whole facility. The security hub's the last logical fallback, and we'd have cover from the turrets all the way. Hmm. Aliens. What can you tell me about the aliens? aliens. Ask Dr. Olar. He's the only one who made it out of the hot labs. He's the only Volus left in here. I need to know more about the situation in the hot labs. 
The facility's off the network. The only way to find out would be to send scouts down the elevator, and I won't send my people to their death. The bugs came did from the there? Did aliens come from inside the facility, or did they attack yeah, from Do you outside? even know? Because you weren't there. Well, my personal opinion? Labs like that exist to do stupid crap that gets people killed. True. Tell me about the structure of the hot labs. It's built into one of the glaciers further down the mountain. Real old, thick, stable ones. So That's me. Real old, thick, and stable. And the ice. Normally, the crew gets to the labs using a tram. 25. The station. We've got an elevator that connects directly, but it's for emergency use only. Hmm. Uh, listen. I'm not sending my people down there. It's too dangerous. Okay. Stand. You're certain the matriarch is still in the hot labs? She hasn't come back here. You came through Central Station, so she ain't there. <sighs> okay. How are your people holding up? Well, they're mostly we dead. Expecting the initial wave. <laughs> they made it inside. We lost some good people. Mm. Most of us left her shorthanded. We've kept order by long shifts and stems. I don't like it, but I don't see an alternative. I've got work to do. Yeah, I hear that. Oh God. Hell, man the perimeter. Yeah, go, this go, place go. is real secure. Oh, Jesus Christ. Jiminy crickets. Jesus, Maria, and Joseph. Jesus. Thanks for the help. Every few hours, a group comes up the tram tunnel. It's actually better since we locked down the elevator. I'll do whatever I can. I don't know why they keep throwing themselves against our defenses. Even animals should learn not to stick their noses where it hurts. Hmm. Paragon plus two. Oi, oi, oi. Emergency elevator, eh? What's this? Data disk? Nothing? I'm preparing for bugs around every corner, I swear, man. This mission has me paranoid. Hello, people. You're not gonna go to the hot labs, are you? No. What? <laughs> Goodbye. Sorry, I'll leave. Bitch. Science pukes. She just bug out and leave to die. Their fault anyway. Oh my god. Uncertain. I welcome you. Cautiously. I am curious to know what you're doing here. I was sent here to find an Asari matriarch. Surprised? One has visited recently. Surprised. Furtively. There are rumors she has gone to the hot lab. For now, with forced cheer, I still have a limited supply of equipment to sell. With <laughs> forced cheer? I love these guys. Let's have a look. Regretfully, most of my stock is being appropriated by Captain Ventralis. <laughs> They're so good. Ooh, nine. 28, 161. Ooh, that's actually pretty solid. I have a million dollars, so we're gonna buy it. 318, 8.80? Oh, it's a shotgun. I mean, sure. An AR. Garrus 330. Ooh, we can upgrade Garrus's AR. Done. Heavy armor, human. Sheesh, can I even wear heavy armor? I just bought the really fancy light armor. We'll just use that. Metagel upgrade? Yeah. Battlefield tasks? I don't know. I... I... Tech cooldown 17? Sure. Biotic abilities 15? 5? I don't know! Uh, sure, I'll buy it. Okay. Hi, Mr. Jones. It is easy to talk to them. I like them. 
Oh, 10 talent points. Mmm. Okay, we need to... Dang, am I like getting... Whoa. Closer to the end of this game? Because we've unlocked a lot of stuff. Do all of the electronics. Lord knows we need electronics. Hi, Weenie Hut. Hi, Break Alec. <laughs> Omni tools help people to eat food. No way, that's the om nom nom nami tool. <laughs> that was a good one. I like that. Nice. Done. Baby equipment. Take all. Hell yeah, baby. Take this guy. And that guy. And then him. This guy. Hell yeah. Look at that. Woo! Tricked out. Tech cooldown bonus. Let's do that guy. Slight upgrade to his armor. Sure, let's do that guy. Dude, our squad's high ki key looking pretty good. Da, da, da. Uh, protect me, Cone. Thank you for the three months. Welcome back in. How are you? Thank you so much for three months of support. Hope you're doing well. Three whole months. That's exciting. Yeah, I'm feeling good about the squad. We can just sell everything now. <laughs> um, to the hot labs. You're tracking down Matriarch Benezia. She left Rift Station to battle the creatures in the infested hot labs. The labs can be assessed via an emergency accessed <laughs> via an emergency elevator between Ventralis' barric barricade and the tram station. Hell yeah, brother! What is the sauce if not to get lost in? What? No! Sorry. I haven't had much sleep since the attack. Yeah. Is there something you need? And literally anything. How are you holding up? It would be petty to complain after showering off a co-worker's brain. None of us have had enough sleep since the attack. Of course, not all of us have guns. Uh, Sky, hi, I can't say over the stream. I'm playing the game myself. Don't want spoilers. Want to say enjoying your Last of Us videos. Thank you, Sky. Thank you for popping in. Welcome to the Panda Pack on Twitch. I appreciate that. I'm looking for an Asari. And I'm glad you're enjoying it. Asari? Well, there's Dr. Ayalis over there. There's also our guest, Lady Benezia. Captain Ventralis might know where she is. Oh! What sort of work do you do here? I can't say. I signed a non disclosure agreement. If we survive, I'd like to keep my job. The location is terrible, but the pay is better than any other commercial lab. You're not happy on Peak 15? The outside world doesn't exist here. Just walls of ice and rock. Mm -hmm. There's only the work, the discovery. It's easy to forget why science is guided by ethics. Maybe we're paying for that now. Ooh. That's a good quote right there. It's easy to forget why science is guided by ethics. Maybe we're paying for that now. It's one for the books. What do you know about the hot lab? Yeah, what's what's up with Nothing. them? I didn't work there. As far as I know, Han Olar was the only survivor. Mm-hmm. Where can I find that guy? In the medical ward? It's the first, not the no, first time. staying in the science team's quarters. Be gentle with him. He had a trying experience. I'm gonna rip his asshole a new one. Uh... What do you do here? Yeah, who are I'm you? I'm a toxicologist. I can't talk about my work. Not that I'm doing anything since the accident. There was an accident here? I can't talk about what happened. Not here. Too public. What is this guy? Talk to Dr. Cohen in the medical ward. He was the project lead. He can't tell me anything. He signed an NDA. He doesn't know where people are. That was actually pretty decent. Later. Remember to report any suspicious noises. Okay. All right, let's try this chick again. Maybe she's reformed. What? <sighs> you 
You seem less upset about this situation than the others. That is one of the virtues of the meditation you interrupted. Not to interrupt your face with my fist. You're a member of the science teams. Recently transferred, yes. What do you do here? Molecular genetics. I specialize in biotic enhanced allele specific hybridization. I mean, allele specific hybridization is just focusing on the specific genetic alleles, so adjusting how people are. <laughs> alleles are what make up our DNA. All right, sure. We'll pretend like I don't know what that is. Speak plain. You think you could translate that into galactic? It's a genetic thing. Forget it. I took biology. Uh. Tell me about yourself. Yeah, she seems I real open. I am Alice from the University of Arrhenius. Is there anything in particular you want to know, or should I just spout random facts? And consider. Need to be so rude. You are interrupting my meditations. Precisely how rude must I be to convince you to leave? I'm gonna keep asking you questions, you Do ho. You matriarch Benezia? Why ask me and not your friend? Hi, Loki. Because I do not know anything about the matriarch. Then why would I? <laughs> this chick is, uh, fun at parties. That's all for now. Hey. Then I will return to my meditations. <laughs> She's got a enticing personality, eh? Got a smoke? We're all out. Hi, Loki. Are you purring? He's rubbing his head against the mic. What are you doing? We got a Loki low here. Loki Mo, what are you doing, Bobby? What are you doing, little baby? System is online and ready to provide. We don't need anything. Very right well, now. Commander. Logging you out. What, what? What do you want? Were they attacked by the aliens? They're suffering from a toxin. There was an accident. Ah. I had a non-disclosure agreement. I shouldn't discuss it with anyone outside of the country. You should if it's impacting the current situation. But you're going to because I might be able to help. I'd like to think that the company finds our lives more valuable than their secrets. You're wrong on that one, buddy. You know Mira, the VI for Peak 15? She handles the safety protocols. Billy. Yes, I fixed her. We can fix her, chat. Billy, thank you so much for the 100 donuts. Thank you. It's good to be back. We reactivated her on our way through Central Station. How you doing? Hello. That was you. I'm grateful. Until she came online, the automatic equipment wouldn't work. We lost the connection to Mira in the middle of an experiment and the quarantine failed. Oh. These three were exposed to a toxin, something we were working on. Tell me everything. I need full cooperation if I'm going to help. Do you want these people to live? If not, I'll walk out of here. Bully the scientist. No, no, Bully wait. the nerd. Bully him. It's a bioweapon based on an exotic life form discovered on the frontier. They wanted something that could kill the creature. But there was no profit in something that kills one species on the frontier. We kept working on it and adapted it to affect more species. Thoros B is highly infectious, but can't pass from one person to another, like a bio-war attack without a pandemic spread. Okay. It doesn't matter how safe you make it. Biological weapons are illegal. Militaries, governments, they'll get this kind of weapon one way or another, and we're trying to limit the damage. I know you can't see that. Is there a cure, Doctor? A treatment? Our first priority was getting it working. Look at his little we biscuits on his fingers. Doctor, when Mira went down, I notes and equipment Look at that. locked in the quarantine labs. Mm -hmm. Captain Ventralis doesn't want to risk more contamination. Hmm. Is it dangerous in there? I think we already know the answer to that one, genius, but let's do it, Shepard. Right keep people out? No, the toxin has a brief period. Oh? After that, it breaks down into simple protein chains. But he won't listen to me. Okay. That's actually doable. I'll talk to him. Maybe I can convince him to let me try. I can't ask you to do this officially, but if you can do anything, I'd appreciate it. Hmm. 
How can I help these people? We don't have an antidote, but what's our best what shot? What would it take to get the cure for these people? The quarantine labs are near the science team's quarters. Okay. Once you're in there, look for our notes. It should just be a matter of following our processes. So I'm supposed to... They, they want to let me cook? They want to let me... Cook? F just follow the... Si I can... Uh, home dog, I can barely make bread. You want me to follow ingredients to make an antidote? How's the science team holding up? Better than Ventralis' guards. They've been on alert since the first attack. I've been administering stims at their request. But every species needs to sleep. They're getting twitchy. Irrational. All right, we're gonna leave. Talk to you later. I hope you can do something. I do not like this place. Too many dark secrets. You're right, Liara. You're right, baby girl. I don't like this place either. Let's get out of here. Hi, Loki. He's being such a snuggle bug right now. Can you stop chewing on my headphones? Can you stop it? Can you please? Little meow meow. <sighs> These are more expensive than you are because you were free, Loki. Please don't play with them. Okay, uh... Let's get down to business to defeat the biological weapon. Warning. Watchdog protocol is active. Oh, that's a lot of red dots. Red blips on our radar. Uh, what do they call it? Thanos 2? Thanos the second? Some shit like that? The... Restricted area. Yeah, but I thought I was allowed to go everywhere. Because, you know, I'm a specter and I'm investigating. Alright, well, we're fucking going in there anyways. We made it this far. I want to know the secrets, damn it. Oh my god, this is insane. What? Oh, I could have just shot the fire containers. Dude, what in the world? Jesus. Well, I guess we're killing all the good guys. Sorries. Oh, so sorry. Oh, so so- oh, so sorry. That looked like it hurt. Oh, so sorry. Excuse me. Pardon me. Uh... Where are we going? I mean... Were they really good guys if they're the ones protecting the biological contaminant and the bioweapon? I just Thanos snapped this entire facility. Were they really the good ones? Are there really good guys in this game? Is anyone a good guy? Why are we all here? You know, if you put everything down to a philosophical- If you boil everything down to a philosophical concept, really, what is good? You know? What is good? Is anyone good? Who 
am I to decide? That being said, kill everybody. What the fork? Where are we? Okay. Hmm. Did we get anything out of going through, like, the secret way? Jackpot, thanks for that follow. Welcome. Secure lab. <gasps> Mommy? Okay, I'm not ready yet. I'm not ready yet. Less murder? <laughs> Okay, so there was literally no point in me doing that. It was an accident. I didn't think I was going to have to kill all the... Ah! All right, we're going into this little secret lair. And then we're going to go talk to mommy. I think this, this is the whole thing. Nothing in here. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Whoa! Woo! It's God. I am so lost. There is no wrong way to play. Except that way. Ooh, reds on the right. Are they guards or bugs? Stay tuned. Okay, this is where we... Okay, I see. If this is an evil playthrough, you're doing a good job. So, uh, no. I'm not trying to be evil. I'm trying... To... I'm not trying to kill the innocents. I'm trying to... Sometimes I'm a little sassy. I was raised on the streets, okay? I'm just trying to be myself. And if I was in this situation, I would... <laughs> I'm just kidding! Jesus Christ. I'm about to get arrested. I'm just playing it how I would play, you know? <laughs> I'm getting roasted right now. The real question is, how is YouTube gonna feel about this? Alright, mommy! You do not know the privilege of being a mother. There is power in creation. To shape a life, turn it toward happiness or despair. That's kind of fucked Her up. children were to be ours, raised to hunt and slay Saren's enemies. She's kind of hot. She's kind of... I won't be moved by sympathy, no matter who you bring into this confrontation. She's kind of... She's got those ease mug vibes from Emperor's New Groove, you know. Unless... What? Liara's here because she wants to be, not because I asked her to. Indeed. What have you told her about me, Liara? What could I say, Mother? That you're insane? Evil? Should I explain how to kill you? What could I say? I see where Liara gets her, uh... Have you beautiful eyes. Have you been commando unit before? Few humans have. I can't believe you'd kill your own daughter. I now realize I should have been strict with her. Oh. Oh. Jesus. Oh, Jesus. It's the whole blue man group. How are you? 
missed you. How are you doing? Her power level is depleting. Die, bitch. Uno más. <laughs> I mean, honestly, if she killed me, I wouldn't be mad. I, I would accept it, you know? What the... Thank you, team. Mommy? She could... She could knock me out. Oop. Hi, Mr. Chill. This is not over. Saren is unstoppable. My mind is filled with his light. Oh? Everything is clear. Girl, your head is stuck in the dick sand. We need to get you out of there. The Rachni didn't cooperate with you. Why should I? I will not betray him. You will. You... You must listen. Saren still whispers in my mind. I can fight his compulsions briefly, but the indoctrination is strong. Why are you able to break free of his control? Uh huh. I sealed a part of my mind away from the indoctrination, saving it for a moment when I could help destroy him. What? Last long. No way! Hold on. We met Shiala on Pharos. She told us about Sovereign's indoctrination. It is a terror to be trapped in your mind. To beat upon the glass as your hands torture and murder. I was powerless. Nothing but a tool for Saren. Oh. He sent me here to find the location of the Mew Relay. Its position was lost thousands of years ago. How do you lose a relay? Why that big go missing? Four thousand years. How do you lose a baby? The hangover. The shockwave propelled the relay out of its system, but did not damage it. Its precise vector and speed are impossible to determine. As millennia passed, the nebula created by the Nova enveloped the relay. It is difficult to find any cold object in interstellar space, particularly something swathed in hot dust and radiation. Do you have it? And I assume you found the coordinates. 2,000 years ago, the Rachni inhabited that region of our galaxy. They discovered the relay. Oh. The Rachni can share memories across generations. The queens inherit the knowledge of their mothers. Like that one behind you? I took the location of the relay from the queen's mind. I was not gentle. Aww. Hi, new Ty Arcane. She's a thousand-year-old milf. She's got power. True. Huh. How did the Rachni find it? They searched patiently. They are territorial creatures driven to close any possible way into their systems. Why does Saren need the Mu Relay? He believes it will lead him to the Conduit. Mm. I would tell you more if I could, but Saren did not share his counsel with me. I was merely a servant to his... Probably class. smart. The less your people know, the less they will be able to tell when they're captured you regret your actions right. give me the information Niata, thank you for the follow I was not myself but I should have been stronger I transcribed the data to an OSD take it please mommy knowing the relay's coordinates is not enough 
Do you know where he planned to go from there? Saren wouldn't tell me his destination. But you must find out quickly. I transmitted the coordinates to him before you arrived. Okay. You have to stop me. I, I can't. His teeth are at my ear. Fingers on my spine. You sh You should... Oh, you should... Mother, I... Don't leave. Oh. Fight him. You've always made me proud, Liara. Oh. Hold on, I'm crying. I can't kill bad guys yet. That's so sad. We're gonna have to kill her, aren't we? Fuck, man. When they hit you with that, you've always made me proud. Oh, that's so sad. She spent the last however much time hating her mom, but she's actually just been a victim to Saren's bullshit, man. Oh, that's so sad. You guys forgot I'm a baby? How long has it been since I played The Last of Us? You guys forgot I cry at literally any emotional moment ever? <laughs> Okay. Whew, okay. I'm trying to take a sippy sip of my coffee and kick some ass. You had to bring Liara on the mission to kill her own mother? This is so fucked. No. He is still in my mind. Okay, she's not dead. I'm not entirely myself. I never will be again. Mother. Good night, little wing. I will see you again with the dawn. Oh, oh no! They always said there would be a... so sad I kind of wish we didn't take her aboard but at least she got to say bye to her mom one last time <sighs> fuck man that fucked me up why is she wiggling around like that behind me you freak oh god oh god I'm still crying. I'm such a baby. <sighs> ah! Are they coming to the bug? This one serves as our voice. We cannot sing. Not in these low spaces. Yeah. Your musics are colorless. Who am I speaking to here? We are the mother. We sing for those left behind. The children you thought silenced. We are Rachni. The Krogan wiped out the Rachni a thousand years ago. The sky is quiet now. Our mother's songs are lost. And those who slew us slew. now walk to meet the same fate. Those who slew us. The children we birthed were stolen from us before they could learn to sing. They are lost to silence. End their suffering. They cannot be saved. They will only cause harm as they are. I don't understand. 
Why are your children killing people? These needlemen. They stole our eggs from us. Needlemen. They sought to turn our children into beasts of war. Claws with no songs of their own. Our elders are comfortable with silence. Children know only fear if no one sings to them. Fear has shattered their minds. Kind of feel bad for the bugs I now. Understand. A child left alone in a closet until she is 16 would not be sane. Mm-hmm. If you're sure they can't be saved. All the bugs. It is lamentable, but necessary. Do what you must. Before you deal with our children, we stand before you. What will you sing? Will you release us? Are we to fade away once more? The Ragnar were a threat to the galaxy. Those tanks are filled with acid. If she gets out of hand, they dissolve her. They made a mistake. They let the Krogan go too far. This is a chance for us to atone. She has done nothing to oh, us. Oh, God! Your companions hear the truth. You have the power to free us. Or return our people to the silence of memory. Eh... If I let you live, would you attack other races again? Why would she tell no, me that? We... I... do not know what happened in the war. We only heard discordance, songs the color of oily shadows. Why would she be like... We would seek a hidden place to teach our children harmony. If they understand, perhaps we would return. Why would she be like... Yeah, dude. I'm gonna be honest with you. We're gonna murk every other race and get payback and revenge and we're just gonna kill everybody. Are you a survivor from the war? A clone? We do not know. We were only an egg, hearing mother cry in our dreams. A tone from space. That's so sad. One voice after another. It forced the singers to resonate with its own sour yellow note. Then we awoke in this place. The last echo of those who came out from the singing planet. The sky is silent. I don't know if I should free her, but I don't want to kill her. I'm definitely not killing her. But I don't know if I, I won't kill you or I'll free you. But like, if she just gets stuck in this tube forever, then she's also not free. I won't destroy your entire race. You'll go free. You will give us the chance to compose anew? We will remember. We will sing of your forgiveness to our children. Don't get me wrong. I hate bugs. This is against everything in my body. But, she seems like a nice lady. Everything in my body is saying, kill that bug. The only good bug is a dead bug. Oh, I can fix her. Okay. Those are some nice tentacles. Spurious. This is a Christian Minecraft server. Anyways, uh, oh, I'm so sad. Big sad. Look at those sacks. Okay, now what? Death of a matriarch. Quarantine labs. Okay, we're still in Novaria, so let's do this. Hot labs, and then quarantine labs. Okay. All roads point to quarantine and hot labs. I didn't mean to murder the guards. I didn't know restricted area. I, I mean, I guess it makes sense from having to hack it. Listen, it was not on purpose. Oh, talk to Liara. The sooner we are off this frozen world, the better. She doesn't sound. Don't like the cold. Oh, is it because I'm? 
Is it because I left the area? When was I supposed to talk to her? Other way leads out of the area. Wait, which way? Am I going backwards? This this way? This way? I do not like this place. Too many dark secrets. Oh, it's red. Uh, and you go to Hot Labs and Science Station. You've been very low. Guys, not true. I'm doing fine, okay? Listen. Killing a couple guards, it's just like Red Dead Redemption. I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna lose the game, okay? We're alright. I think I was going the right way. I don't know what you guys are talking about. <laughs> not to be a dick, but I don't know what you guys are talking about. I think it's this way. Did I mess something up, like... Can I save here and then go back? Nah, you good? Did I miss something important? Nope, okay. We're just gonna go. <laughs> We're just gonna go. Why is there red here? Don't look back. Only focus on the now. Yeah, but I want to know all the secrets. It's too late. God damn it. I'm going back. I've already saved, so... Chat's bullying me. Okay, that was... Face palm, see? Where the fork? Oh god, I'm lost in the sauce now. 21.11 minutes. 21.17 minutes. Fearing for your life? Hi, Jake! Oh my god. Uh, is this before my encounter with her? I think I can't go back. Because this is a whole 40 minute... Oh wait, this is, this is 9.30. Yeah, I can't go back. I didn't save. We're just gonna go back. Hot labs time. Damn it, Chad! Now I'm gonna be thinking about it! <laughs> Heck! Okay, 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 okay. It's fine. Don't think about it. This is what happens. This is what happens with the back seating. Now I know I missed something. Ah! It's gonna bother me. <sighs> oh, it's okay. Chat is lying. It's not too late. Whoa! Yada slev. Tartar Tartakovsky. Wow, what a name. Are you here to secure the situation? You alright? How are you holding up? You must listen to me. If we do not contain our mistake, they will drop bombs from the battle stations. You understand? You let these things out? Uh, I am only following the orders. Mm. Binary Helix found an egg. It was on a derelict ship, thousands of years drifting. Oh? This was Ragnar ship. Inside, they find many eggs in cryogenic suspension. 
They brought it here to wake it up? Binary Helix planned to clone Rachni, mass produce them, create an army. But when they get here, they find this egg is not a common Rachni. It is a queen. After she lays eggs, egg. they move her to Rift Station. They are thinking that without her, they can raise the babies to be obedient. Obviously, they were wrong. Uh, this was exactly the wrong thing to do. I am thinking that without a queen, Rachni do not develop properly. Her mind is shaping theirs. These Rachni are uncontrollable. Mm. Then all we need to do is bring her here. No, I am sorry, but this will not work. Hmm. These Rachni are beyond saving. It is a sad thing, but... Oh, they're just rabid. Yeah, that's what she told us too. The neutron purge must be set off. I'm not familiar with the purge system. It creates bursts of neutron radiation, kills everything within the station. Things beyond get genetic damage of varying degree. How do we set off the purge? Arming controls are nearby. All you do is insert the key. Then uh, I will get the What? Our homie! We got the codes. Jesus. You gotta slip. No. The fork. Mira, do it. Connecting. I have full access to the facility and am at your disposal. Initiate neutron Activate purge. Neutron purge. I'm sorry, but I can't do that without proper code authorization. Mumble something. I have it. Code input 8750200079. Code Omega local execution. Verified. <sighs> in 120 seconds oh fuck Fire in the hole. speed run Jesus Christ Jiminy crickets Where are they? Oh my heckin' frick. Get out of here. Holy shit. Dude. Hoo-wee. Go back yet. Is everything shut off? Damn it. <sighs> okay, okay, okay. Now what? Mission complete. Depart the station and the tram you arrived at. Alright. Let's go. Woo! We did it, chat. We did it. We ghost busted that shit. Now the most awkward, silent ride back to Central Station. <laughs> What's our next move, Commander? Head for the Mew Relay? Ooh. The Mew Relay could link to dozens of systems. Unless we know exactly where Saren's going, we'd just be wasting our time. The Commander is right. We cannot rush off blind. We still need to learn more about Saren. Who put you in charge? 
Did the commander resign when I wasn't looking? Jesus, Ashley. We're all on the same team here, Williams. She's just trying to help. Sorry, Commander. Don't let it happen again. Crew, dismissed. Ovaria report is away, Commander. You want me to patch you through to the Council? We haven't talked to the Council in a while. Am I still ghosting them? What if I don't talk to them the entire playthrough? Nope. Don't bother. Aye, aye, ma'am. We've gone rogue. It's probably smart to talk to them, considering what happened with their last Spectre, you know, Saren going off the grid and lying to them, so maybe I shouldn't do that the entire time. But is it, it is fun. Glitch, thank you for the 39 months! Howdy, how are you? Alright, let's talk to the crew real quick. I want to I get feelers for how everyone's doing. Talk to the crew, and then we're gonna... We're gonna keep doing hood rat stuff. In space. Oh, our favorite boy. Hello, Kaden. Anything you need, Commander? Just trying to get a sense of where the crew's at. Thoughts? We're all in for the duration. You can count on everyone to do their duty. What's your opinion on the last mission? Killing Saren's, uh, what was Benezzi anyway? Second in command? Advisor? Anyway. It should set him back a bit. I'm sure Dr. Tassoni's hurting though. Poor kid. Having to kill her own mom. <laughs> Any opinion on the rack knife? Off the record? If we had the option, I'd as soon have left it to the council. We weren't out here during the rack knife war. I'm not sure we have any business getting involved. That's a good point. We'll talk another time, Lieutenant. Commander? Talk to the council and then hang up immediately. Yeah, I have done that. <laughs> they pissed me off. Pretty good. <laughs> and welcome in, Cliff. How's it going? But it can be a spoiler, however, it doesn't that affect the story, so I get permission. Uh, maybe message my mod first? They got on my bad side for the rest of the game after calling you a liar? Yeah, they definitely aren't on my good side. Garrus! What can I do for you? What's wrong, buggy boy? Something bothering you? Alien man? It's Saren. I'm starting to wonder whether we'll ever. No, poor there's baby. Ahead of us, and he's got those damn gas. This is so funny. I don't know why I'm reading it in this voice. He's like, oh, "Hi, Commander," and I'm like, "Oh, what's wrong, Saren?" He's like, "Hmm, it's Saren. I'm starting to wonder if we're ever really going to find him. He's just so." He's just so elusive, and I don't know if we're ever going to find Saren. He's always just one step ahead of us, and I just, I just don't know anymore. We're getting close, Garrus. We'll find him. We'll find him. I wish I had your confidence. I just can't stand the thought of him getting away with everything he's done. I know you're doing everything you can, and if anyone can catch him, it's you, but... If there's anything else I can do to help, anything, just tell me what you want me to do, and I'll do it. <laughs> Hi, PM. Are you worried? I understand your concern, but we will find him. Just make sure you're ready to go when we do. Yes, ma'am. You can count on me. Thanks for hearing me out. I appreciate it. Can I ask you something, Commander? Sure. What is it? Are you worried that the Council might be protecting Saren? I wasn't until now. They were really dragging their heels before. What if we find him, bring him back to the Citadel, and they refuse to act? Oh? I get the feeling this isn't a question. Speak your mind, Gary. Yeah, what do you know? Well, maybe we shouldn't give them the chance, Commander. In my opinion, Saren's too dangerous to be kept alive. Too much could happen. Oh. He escape, or the Council might let him go. If we find him, when we find him, I say we make sure we stop him permanently. We'll see. It'll depend on the situation. I'm not committing to anything until I've got him in my sights. Fair enough. Hmm. way, I'm right behind you, Commander. I mean, that's that's a pretty good point. We can't. We haven't trusted the council, or we haven't been able to trust the council prior to this. And considering the whole situation, they might try to. He could try to slime his way back. What do you want, Shepard? 
Why did you become a mercenary? Lots of reasons. Such like? as? Such as, I needed to get out of our system. I needed to eat. I needed to survive. Why not stay and help your people? I tried to help. That's why I had to leave. What happened? I was betrayed. Oh? I was head of a small tribe. We were trying to restore order after the war, but the other tribes were against us. They followed Jared, one of the few warlords Jared. who survived the war with the Turians. But he was old, and so were his ideas. Mm. He wanted to continue the war. He wanted us to fight. Turians, Salarians, each other. It didn't matter who, as long as we were fighting. The old ways. We just need to keep fighting each other because this is just how it is and it's how it's been. What did you want? I just wanted Jared to shut up. To stop his ranting. Oh. I wanted him to stop leading the tribes astray. But he couldn't understand how much things had changed. We didn't have the numbers to go to war. Even if we did, the Genophage made sure we couldn't replenish our numbers fast enough. I told them all to forget about war. We needed to focus on breeding. At least for one generation. Focus on breeding? While, we were getting through. Some of the tribes started coming around. Okay, what about Jared, though? I take it the Warlord didn't appreciate that. No, he didn't. He arranged a crush with the tribes. A meeting on neutral ground. He wanted to talk. Mm-hmm. We met at the Hollows, in the graves of our ancestors. The skulls of our dead laid bare to remind us where we come from, where we all go. God, night, Joe. It's as sacred as any Krogan place can be. Violence is forbidden. And you went along? Like, what a great way to... What a great place to host a meeting. Like, hey, all you tribes and people, uh, let's <laughs> let's talk right here. This is a great place. Sounds like a trap to me. You must have suspected. Let's not kill much. them for sure. I did, but when your father invites you to a crush, well, there are some laws that even we hold sacred. Your father? Jared was your father. He was, until that day. Uh... We talked, but we didn't get anywhere. When it was clear that I wouldn't join him, he gave the signal. His men left from the graves of yep. our ancestors like Krogan undead. The few that were loyal to me died quickly. You didn't mention that was your father. I escaped with my life, but not before I sank my dagger deep into my father's chest. Oh my god. That is why I left. And that's why I'll never go back. Rex! Dude, that's the most badass... Dang. That's insane. So long, Rex. Shepard. I was not expecting it. I was like, hey, ha ha he he, let's check in on our crew. How's everyone doing? Whoa. Commander. What's your opinion of the last mission? You mean the Rachni, right? They were dangerous, Skipper. They proved that 2,000 years ago. What are you calling Skipper? I think it was a mistake to let them go. But that wasn't my call to make. It, it was yours. You're also, like, low-key... You, know, you really should talk to Chisoni about ...kind of species She has to be hurting. Just saying, Skipper. Don't call me Skipper. <laughs> Dismissed, Chief. Callow, thank you for the tier one sub! Thank you so much. Welcome to the community. Glad you can join us. I appreciate that. Welcome. Can we get some hype and love for Kalo for the tier one fresh, freshly hatched red panda sub, please? She's kind of spacious. Yeah, she's a little, she's a little specious, but she's like, personally, I would have hand killed all those bugs. It feels like we're getting near the end, doesn't it, Shepard? With Saren, I mean. I hope so. It won't be much longer. One way or another, it'll all be over soon. One way You'll or find another. The before he does, I know you will. You have to. We are a um, tally best girls. 
when my pilgrimage ends and I go back to my own people, I'll be proud to say I was a part of it. Aww. This isn't about you, bitch. <laughs> Jesus. Dude, some of the renegade, some of the options are so rude. Fatality 13, thank you also for the fresh sub. I appreciate that with the prime. Let's go. Can we get some hype and love in the chat, please, for our new subscribers? That's so sweet. Thank you for the support. How you guys are enjoying the chaos? Chaos coffee and cats. Triple C's, baby. Um... Yeah. She's like, oh my. Oh my goodness. I'm so excited to get back to my family after this pilgrimage ends. And we had such a good run together. And I'm going to be so proud. And I'm just going to say I was a proud to have been a part of it. This is. Wait, hold on. This isn't about you, you dumb bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so brutal, man. I couldn't have done this without you, Tally. You've been good to me. A lot of people treat Quarians like second-class citizens. They just want us to go back to our fleet and disappear. But you've treated me just like everyone else on your crew. Like an equal. That means a lot, and it says something about you. Whatever happens, I just want to say thank you for that. Hmm. You earned it. I didn't bring you along as a favor, Tally. You're here because you contribute to the mission. And I need all the help I can get on this one. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. You can always count on me. I should go. Save the best for last. See you later. Because she's going to have a lot to say about this mission because we just killed her mother. Oof. Discovered you from YouTube. First time I'm able to catch your stream. Have you discovered your love for red pandas? I'm an animal caretaker since September and during winter tried to take care of them. <gasps> That's so awesome! That's actually so cool! I love red pandas! Red pandas are homies here. That's very neat. Thank you for sharing and thank you for joining the community. It's hard to do 100% renegade because it gets a little too savage. Dude, that would be such a fun playthrough to do someday. Where is our... I think it's up here. The medical room. Nope. Hmm, now I'm just back to where I was. Heck. Is it through the main door here? No, this is the conference room. Heck. Commandant, thank you for the 100 donuts. Guys, you were way too sweet. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. You little pandas. This, 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 this door. Yep, 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 yep. Pete, hello, how are you? How's it going? Oh lord, I'm not ready for this conversation. I already cried once. If you are here to talk about Benezia's death, you need not bother. She brought it upon herself. Oh shit, okay, I was not expecting that. Forget about her, yeah. <laughs> what? <gasps> huh? In the end, maybe she's better off now. Maybe. She was a good person once. Before she was twisted by Sovereign's power. Better to remember her as she used to be. True. True. Good for her. Sometimes compartmentalization is good. She's like, okay, mom used to be good. This is my memories with her. And then things went bad. The person that she died as isn't the person that she lived as. Damn, that's cold. The best of your mother lives on in you. Her determination, her intelligence, her strength. Aww. That is kind of you to say. I appreciate your concern, but I am fine. Benezia chose her path, just as I have chosen mine. I am with you until the end, Shepard. Aww. Maybe we could pick up where we left off. You were telling me about your interest in the Protheans. Actually, I think I was talking about my interest in you and making a fool of myself in the process. As I said, I am not used to dealing with people, especially humans. I did not really know much about your species when we first met Shepard. I found it hard to take humanity seriously. Your kind always seemed so rushed and high strung. Wow, you're not wrong. 
Has your opinion changed at all? It has. I have been watching you and your crew. It has taught me a lot about your species. You humans are creatures of action. You pursue your goals with an almost indomitable determination. It is an admirable trait, but also an intimidating one. You sure know how to compliment a lady. Hey, that's still insulting. Intimidating. How hard we work? You're scared of us? Unfortunately, the rest of the galaxy sees humanity as something of a bully. You run over anyone in your path to get what you want. It is up to people like you to Echo! Them the Lord, to us to set a good example. A good example. Echo, thank you so much for the five gift subs. That is very sweet of you. Let's go. Can we get some love in the chat, please? If you got uh, gifted a sub, enjoy. Welcome to the community. Thank you, thank you. It's up to you, people like you, to change their minds. Yeah, I mean... Whew. I'm trying. I'm doing the best I can, Liara. There is a reason the Council chose you to become a Spectre. They saw something special in you. The best of what humanity has to offer. I looked into your history. I know what you did on Torfin. I cannot even imagine how horrible that must have been, but I loved. you did what had to be done. You looked that Why up? Why are you so interested in me? I wanted to know more about you. To understand what made you into the woman you are. There is something compelling about you, Shepard. Unacceptable. Are you sure you're interested in me? Or is it my visions of the Protheans? I admit, your connection to the Protheans had something to do with my initial interest. But it has grown beyond that. Oh? You intrigue me, Shepard. But I was not sure if it was appropriate to act on my feelings. I thought there might already be a relationship between you and Lieutenant Alenko. What? Out of all the homies in the crib, I have been nothing but mean to him. I, sh I shit on his head. I poop on him. Maybe that's maybe that's maybe some people are into that. We don't kink shame here. Cadence. <laughs> Cadence special. He's my special ooky pooky. No, bitch. The lieutenant and I are just friends. Nothing more. My mistake, then. I am not as adept at understanding human relationships as I thought. But what about us, Shepard? Is there a mutual attraction, or was I wrong about that, too? Oh my god, it is hot on this, this space boat right now. <gasps> okay, 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 okay. <gasps> No, you were right. There is something between us. I knew it, and I knew you felt it too. But does this not seem rather strange? Why do I feel so close to you? We have only known each other a short time. We are from two different species. We have almost nothing in common. This makes no sense. It doesn't have to! We, only, we have only one thing in common, and that's that we want to fuck. <laughs> okay. Uh. These things never make sense. They just happen, and we get swept up in the storm. You make it sound so chaotic, so dangerous. <laughs> I'll protect you. Are you scared? That's why it's fun. Oh my god, I'm blushing right now. I'm literally turning pink. Are you scared? Don't worry. Mommy's got you! <laughs> I'll keep you safe. I am not looking for a protector. This is all a bit overwhelming. Oh my god, my heart rate! I am not used to this. You. I need some time. 
Take all the time you need, Liara. I'll be here. <laughs> Thank you, Shepard. Let's... Let's just talk about something else for now. Oh my god. Oh, okay. We're still Shepard. Cool, cool as a cucumber. Cool as a cucumber. Whew. Ugh. I think I think we're good. I should go. Goodbye, Shepard. Okay. Huh. Well, <laughs> I think that's a good place to stop this episode because we got a lot done. We got a lot done. We killed her mom and now she's into us. So I don't know what uh, our boy Sigmund Freud would have to say about that, but I'm sure there's analysis on it somewhere. So anyways, I'll see you guys in the next episode.